Today on Scoutmaster Danny, we will discuss mosquito and tick bite prevention. In addition to covering DEET, we will explore more advanced options like permethrin, encapsulated DEET, and a new thermocell product. We will also discuss why some of the natural solutions are ineffective. Before I begin, use this information at your own risk. My experience comes from camping 40 nights per year in a high ticket mosquito area. I have researched this information heavily, but I am not an expert. I will put my sources for the information in the comment section below. Follow all instructions provided by the repellent manufacturers. This information is provided by me and does not represent the views, opinions, or education of the Boy Scouts of America, any other youth organization, or any government organization. If you are taking youth camping in areas that have mosquitoes and ticks and you are not protecting them from those bites, then you are putting them in serious danger of both Lyme disease and mosquito-borne illnesses like West Nile, Zika, and malaria. Mosquitoes cause more human suffering than any other organism. Over 1 million people worldwide die from mosquito-borne diseases every year. Repellents are typically rated by how much they repel, and more importantly, how long the effects last. We all know about DEET. It is by far the most effective repellent on the market and has been tested heavily by our U.S. military for use in areas where mosquito-borne illnesses are prevalent. Current research has deemed that DEET is relatively safe to use on your skin for adults and children. While DEET is a nasty chemical, its use is preferred to taking the risk of disease or virus. DEET is a highly effective repellent against mosquitoes and moderately effective against ticks. Many people misunderstand the concentrations of DEET. Higher concentrations do not repel more effectively. The protection simply lasts longer. For example, 10% concentration lasts for about 2 hours. 30% lasts for about 5 hours. Generally, it is recommended to keep concentrations under 35% for use. DEET will also melt many synthetic fabrics. Do not spray it near your tent and don't put it on clothes that you like. So DEET is awesome, but it has its problems. Let me introduce you to encapsulated DEET, currently being sold as Ultra 30 by Sawyer and Ultra Thon by 3M. Both of these products use lower concentrations of DEET, yet provide protection for over eight hours. Research found that most of the DEET chemical in traditional sprays is absorbed by your skin and therefore wasted. Only the remaining DEET sitting on the surface actually repels mosquitoes. Just to clarify, your skin is soaking up DEET like a sponge and that soaked up amount does nothing to repel mosquitoes or ticks. So only a small portion of the DEET you are applying is actually effective. Researchers found that they could encapsulate the DEET and prevent it from being absorbed by your skin. This is a double bonus. You are putting much less chemical in your body and at the same time creating a significantly longer lasting repellent. Encapsulated DEET at 30% has the same effect as traditional DEET at 90%. DEET is great against mosquitoes, but only moderately good against ticks. It also has to be reapplied regularly and is often forgotten during the day. Let me introduce you to the wonderful world of permethrin. This insecticide and repellent is applied to clothing, never to skin. The awesome part is that an application lasts three months and through six washes. You may have seen mosquito repellent clothing and sleeping bags. These are made with permethrin, but you can easily do it yourself at home to all of your camping clothes. Permethrin is highly effective against ticks, usually making them ill before they embed into your skin. It also moderately repels mosquitoes. I personally heavily coat our family's camping clothing in permethrin twice per year at the start of spring and midsummer. There are two ways to apply permethrin. The first is to buy the spray bottle made by Sawyer, which is 2% permethrin. This is a proven safe product and procedure. You simply hang up the clothes and spray until damp. A bottle covers about one adult outfit. Keep your pets and children away from the wet permethrin. It is poisonous to them. Second option I am not recommending. It is not proven safe. It is not recommended by any manufacturer. It is not recommended by any larger organization. It might be dangerous to do. It is, however, how I personally add permethrin to my family's clothing. If you decide to do it, know it is at your own risk. Do the following outdoors. I buy one quart of concentrated 37% permethrin SFR from Amazon. I put half of the bottle into a five gallon bucket and fill the bucket 90% full with warm water. I mix with a stick to create about a 1% permethrin mix. Then I soak one piece of clothing at a time, wring it out and hang to dry. Thermocell has a line of area repellent devices that work similar to the citronella candles, but at a higher concentration. These devices work great if you are not moving and there is almost no wind. Since the devices only reach out about 15 feet, you also need several of them to cover your camp seating area. 
While they have these limitations, they do work if you're sitting in a small area on a still night. In fact, I just ordered their newest device that mounts to the top of a camping gas canister. I will do a review of it in a future video. Finally, let's talk about some natural options. Sage in the campfire is popular. The problem is that it gives you a protection area similar to that of campfire smoke. Guess what? Campfire smoke is also a mosquito repellent and is also bad for your lungs. So stay out of the smoke and use something more effective for the mosquitoes. CDC and EPA recognize the following repellents as effective and consider other options as non-proven natural alternatives. In other words, you're probably going to get bit and may get a virus or disease, but can feel good that you only use natural, not necessarily safer or effective, products. Proven effective chemicals include DEET, picaridin, IR3535, oil of lemon eucalyptus, 2 undecanonin. I'm probably saying that last one wrong, but I think you get the idea. Out of these repellents, DEET is by far the most effective compared with safety. Note, permethrin is considered an insecticide, not a repellent, and therefore is not listed. Remember, protect yourself and have fun in the outdoors.